when you follow up patients and you ask them what seemed to make a difference in cognitive therapy and interpersonal therapy and even the medication condition clients overwhelmingly voted that it was the relationship that made the difference so even in this wonderfully controlled huge multi-million dollar study at the end of the day people said it's the relationship you may know about some of our research on looking at psychotherapists own personal therapy experiences we, we've asked this uh, question now in I think four or five countries probably close to 10,000 people therapists what is the single lesson that you take from your own personal treatment that you try to apply in the therapy you conduct over 80% of the responses pertain to the relationship. It's the way we change. It's, some people argue we're hardwired. If we're not hardwired, then at least we've come to appreciate that's the way we operate in a social world. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's about time that psychotherapists begin taking that seriously. In fact, one of our proudest moments in the second edition of Psychotherapy Relationships that's worked is that for the first time, the National Registry of Evidence-Based Practices and Programs now recognizes the therapy relationship as evidence-based. Before that, it was always you know treatment methods, programs, etc. Uh, with this release of the book, they immediately put it on this federal government website and said, this works, pay attention to it. And we don't have to throw the baby out with the bathwater. We don't have to say, because the relationship work, ignore all this stuff about treatment methods. It's obviously both. 